first question is for Nick. What was your inspiration for yoga? Sorry? Inspiration. Your inspiration for yoga. And they paid me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> No, um, actually, there were a, a whole range of drawings that were done of Yoda um, before we ever got involved in it. They were, people generally give credit to Ralph and Quarry, but uh, there were far more drawings that were done by Joe Johnson. Uh, Joe Johnson. And um, Yoda started out, he was described in the, in, in the fourth draft as a strange blue character. And so all the original drawings of Yoda um, he looked like a smurf with a beard. Um, he, he did. Uh, and then they kind of drifted away from the blue, and he became a garden gnome in kinky boots. Um, and then after that, <laughs> he did have to look at the drawings. Um, and then he became the kind of, uh, they went completely away from that, and he became the kind of strange, wrinkly Chinese guy. Um, and then they shrank him down into the size that you know now. And so he started to get the body uh, shape that you know. And it was that that my boss too started sculpting. I didn't sculpt Yoda, I was there to make molds and skins and, and do some of the assembly. Uh, and my boss was the, the, really the, the father of animatronics in England at the time. Uh, and if I hadn't worked with him, then I wouldn't have known how to put the fourth, the final version together. So I always try to give credit to him and to the other people that were involved. But um, ultimately, they couldn't make up their mind what he looked like. And uh, Stu would do a sculpt to the drawing that they had. And then he would start working on a mechanism while we were waiting, waiting for George and Gary Kurtz to come by. And then they came by and they talked and they went away and he would change the sculpt and another two weeks go by. And we went through five months of just changing what he would look like. There's a video out there of him saying, oh, it just came together in, you know, in two weeks. That was the last two weeks of the five months. He didn't want to mention the, uh, the other four and a half months. And uh, what the final thing that made the difference was they were struggling to make him look wise and to, to give a sense of, of kindness at the same time. The alien version that had been built really didn't look very friendly. Um, and so um, Stu had, went through what he thought were wise people and, and to that generation that was going to be Gandhi and Albert Einstein. Uh, and so the basic oval shape came from Gandhi. Uh, and the white hair, the smiling eyes, and the big upper lip came from Albert Einstein. And then Stu had a mirror there, and he modeled the jowls to his own face. And that's how that happened. There was also a lady called Wendy Midner who was very important in, um, in the building of, uh, of Yoda. She was the go-between between, between us and the Muppets. And she fabricated the body, which was basically the same as Miss Piggy. Um, and, uh, and she uh, also she did uh, some sculpting while she was waiting, because we were all just waiting to get on with the job. And the version that she sculpted was kind of funny and cuddly, and, and that the influence of, of that got into Yoda too. That's partly why he was just so um, adorable, rather than this kind of nasty alien that was originally drawn. This is a Yoda guiding Meili saying, I'll see you again in a week or so. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell or you may miss our next video about making Star Wars and practical creature effects told by people who were actually there.